This is Amir Yaimi Gemara Shabbos, Daf, Tezayin Amir Beis. We pick it up from the top of Tezayin Amir Beis. We are three lines from the top. Shimin ben Shotach, Tikein Aksuba Leisha. Shimin ben Shotach was Metakein Aksuba for a woman because her Tumah Klima Tachais. And he made a Gzira of Tumah on Glima teches on metal items. And again, this really is going back to the Bryce on Dafyudal and Bays that we quoted. It's almost like a gufa. It's interesting that the Gemara just starts straight. But the Gemara now is going to explain this Bryce. Asks the Gemara, you're telling me, Shimon Ben Shatach made the on Toma. Glima teches. Daraisa Ninu. Says the Pasik, the gold and the silver, etc. So, what exactly was Shimon ben Shatach? Metakein, if it's Xer Daraisa. Explains the Gemara. Loit Sricha, Ella, Letoma Yeshana, which of course is a beautiful segue after the previous Gemara, after we could understand what is Toma Yeshana. That when you rebuild the Kali, it goes back to its original Toma. That's the Gzair of Shem Ben Shatach. Explains the Gemara. Where did this Gzair come from? Dhamma Ravu Dhamma Rav, Tod Ravu Dhamma Rav, Maisa Bishal Tzion, Hamalka. There was a story with Shal Tzion Hamalka. Shalsa Mishla Ben Ashi made a party for her son, Benetim will call Kaleho. And unfortunately, all the Kalim were Tame. Why? Because there was a mace over there. And everything came tame. And how do you make something tar from a mace? You have to do the sprinkling from the paraduma on the shlishi and shvi on the third and the seventh day. And then go to the mikvah, etc. Says the Gemara. But the problem is she wants to make a party. She can't wait seven days. Ushvara, son. So what did she do? She broke all the utensils. When it's an asa, let's and then she gave them to a smith. He re them all together. And she made new kalim. And said the chachamim, v'amru chachamim, that's too far. We can't have people circumventing Tomah. So they said, let's go back to their original Tomah. Says Gmar, my time, why? You don't want people, as Rashi points out, what is this geder? Mechatos, Rashi is four, three lines, four lines, three lines, it's the narrow lines. Nimsu mechatos betelim. Because why would someone wait seven days? You could just break and rebuild this keli. So says the Gemara, Hani This works according to the opinion that what local Thomas that this din of Tomah Yishana was not by all Tomah. It's about 15 lines down. The first one line is like, call. Elo le Thomas Ames Bilvad Amru. It was a din davka by Thomas Ames. Then it makes sense, Shabir. Then everything is good. Why? Because that's the Gezerah Klape Thomas Ames with regard to the din of Hazayah of sprinkling on Shlishi and Shvi on the third and seventh day as the Gezerah, not to forget it. They made the din of Toma Yeshana. Elaman, Damar Lecholat Tomais Amru. But according to Manda Amar, that the Gezerah was for all Tomais. Michael and Mamer, what are you going to tell me? Amar Abaye, meaning, because it's not only a din of Paraduma, not only a din of Azar Shlishi and Shvi. Amar Abaye, Gzir Shabloi, Yikven Bechdei Tarasai, so two answers. Says Abaye, you know what the problem is? That you might not really break this keli. You might not, not make the hole to the requisite side of a Rimoin. Rav Amar, Gzir Shabloi, Mutfilas Basiyoi, Ma'ilalai, says Rav, that if people see that you could break a keli and rebuild it, and the keli becomes star right away, people might might think that when it comes to tefillah as well, on the same day, the item could be tar. My benayu says the Gemara, what is the practical difference? Ik benayu tisarfinu mirzaf. When you flatten out the vessel, you refashion the vessel. Then, according to Abayi, there's no gzera because you completely destroyed it. According to Rava, there would still be a Gezeira. And that wraps up the price of Taf Yudal. We're smack in the middle of the Zion of the the two dots. Says the Gemara, let's go back. What is another one of the Shemayna Asar Gazar? We listed 12 of the 18 Gezeirais. Says the Gemara, or 9, excuse me. What were the other 9? We learned in the Mishnah, 
if you put kalim, you put utensils under a pipe, like Kabbalah makes sham. So you have a you have a rainwater that's coming off of a pipe. So you put a bowl there, you put something to catch the rainwater. Says the Bryce, says the Mishnah. And now each item in this Mishnah are going to be items that are be'etzem not able to be makabal tumma. It's a massive keli, doesn't have a din of a keli. It's a kelim kitanim, it's a small keli, doesn't have a din of a keli. Vavilu kleavonim, stoneware kleadama, mudware kleglalim, either means it was made of dung, or it was made out of, of uh, earth. Paisanis amikva, so even though these are items that aren't generally makabal tumma, the water gets a din of mayim shuvim, of drawn water, and if that goes into the mikvah, passels the mikvah. This is true whether one placed the, the item there intentionally, or whether one forgot the item there. Divrei Beishamei. Says Beishamei, whether you put your bowl to catch the rainwater, whether you just happen to have to leave it there, Lemaisa catches rainwater, it's called mayim shuvim, it's called drawn water, and it passels up the mikvah, that water goes into the mikvah. Says, if you forgot it there, then it is tar. This was one of the examples they counted and they said, Rabu Beisham Beisel Beisham was more than Beisel. So he passed like Beisham, that whatever the reason you put it there, apostles up the mikvah. But continues the Mishnah that Amoydim Beisham 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 If you forgot it in the Chatzir, not underneath a pipe. You just left the Kaili out in the middle of the courtyard and it caught some water, caught some rainwater. That the Amoydim Beisham that the water is not considered Mayim Shuvim. Amor Rabbi Yaisi, Atayin Machleg is B'mekai Mayim Adis. No, even in the case that you just left a ball, you left a pot in the middle of your courtyard and it happened to catch rainwater, even in that case, it is a machleka. Says the Gemara, Amar Rav Meshar Shem. With this, we conclude. Devei Rav Amri in the Yeshiva of Rav, they said, "Akol Ma'idim Beishami Beisel." They all agree that what happens. We're talking about this case. You left your pot in the middle of your backyard. So if Kishinicha Meshas Kishra Avonim, if you put it there, excuse me, we're talking about the case where you put it under the pipe. If you put it there while it was Kishra Avonim. There were clouds in the sky, I meaning it looks like rain. Everyone agrees in that case it's Tameyim. Because you clearly know it's going to catch the water. You clearly know you're creating Mayim Shuvim. Mashas Pizer Avanim. On the flip side, it's a perfectly sunny day. There's no clouds, and you left your pot out. Everyone agrees to hire it. Lainach, look who what's the mach? Laikas al Shanicha, Mashas Kishra Avanim. You put it there at a time that there were clouds. And then this pazru, the clouds dispersed. So with the dispersion of the clouds, your original mindset perhaps that it's going to catch the water that's after the rain is no longer because now it's a sunny day. And then the chazru is kashru. Then it becomes cloudy again. So Mar Savar says, Be still about the machshav toy. Your machshav is bottle. When it became sunny, you're like, oh, I'm not getting any rain water. That's the reason why it's going to be kosher. Umar Savar and Beisham says, no, loy bala machshavto. And because it's not bala machshavto, that's the reason why it's going to be possible to water. Ask the Gemara, or Rav Yaisi, what about Rav Yaisi? Dar machlegis, v'dayim b'mekayim ha'imadas, pots yuluhu. So according to Rav Yaisi, you're missing one of the xeras. According to Rav Yaisi, this was not one of the cases that we paskin like Beishamai. We don't paskin like Beishamai. Let's remind ourselves that just said that whether it's Meniach, whether it's Sheikh even in this case that there were clouds, they dispersed, and then there were clouds. Even in that case, it's going to be possible. Why? Because Loi Bala Machshav, the original Machshav, that it was cloudy, is not bottle. But according to Rabbi Yossi, it's not one of the 18. So he's missing one of the 18 Xerois. Amr Abnach, Rabbi Yitzchak, Av, Benoiz Kusen, Nidez, Mari Sasa, and he has a new case. He goes to the Mishnah, that Benoiz Kusen, daughters of Kusen, Mari Sasa, from their cradle, from the time that they are born, by Bayoim Gazru, the din that they are a Nida, that they're Tame, Kusen, from the moment of birth, that Gezeira was made on this day, and that's the last Gezeira according to Rav Yaisi. We stop over here. Tomorrow we pick up more of the 18 Gezeira. It's the Yilchas Tavar B'Siyata Dishmaya.